Hello, I'm Jose Sasaya in the WUFT Newsroom. For Thursday, February 12th, here's your news in 90. A Marion County man found himself back behind bars after trying to escape his pretrial hearing. Sonny Sturr's bond for possession of hydromorphone and meth was revoked. After he heard the judge's ruling, authorities say he tried to flee the courthouse. A trio of bailiffs chased Sturr, ultimately tackling and tasering him. In addition to his drug charges, Sturr now faces an escape charge. SpaceX has launched its newest rocket after two delays this week because of high winds. Yesterday, the Falcon 9 started a one million mile journey to its operational orbit around the sun. The rocket carries with it a $340 million deep space climate observatory to monitor potentially dangerous solar storms. It will take 110 days for the rocket to reach its destination. Longtime CBS News reporter Bob Simon was killed in a car accident on Manhattan's West Side Highway. The 73-year-old died last night when the Lincoln Town car he was riding in hit another car and slammed into a traffic barrier. The car's roof had to be cut off to remove Simon and the driver. They were taken to the hospital and Simon died on the way from injuries to his head and upper body. Several European leaders emerged from Ukrainian peace talks with a new ceasefire deal. French President Francois Hollande and German Chancellor Angela Merkel brokered the talks between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko. Despite the ongoing talks, both pro-Russian rebels and government troops reported fighting across eastern Ukraine. That's your news at 90. Thanks for watching.